Hey everyone, today's video is going to cover how to stake Cardano using Ada Lite. I've had a few people reach out asking if staking Cardano in Coinbase was something that they could do. It's not possible in Coinbase, it's not possible in a lot of these other crypto exchanges or wallets. You have to use specific wallets to do staking with Cardano. And in today's video, I'm gonna cover everything that I've done to stake a couple of my Cardano. And if you follow along, you should be able to stake Cardano as well. Now there are a few prerequisites before we get started. You have to actually have Cardano purchased from an exchange like crypto.com. I know there are a couple other places that you can buy Cardano but you have to have Cardano in order to follow along with this video. If you don't know where to buy Cardano, I put a couple links down below that you can check out for that. But once you do have Cardano, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come to adalite.io, and I will put a link in the description because as you can see on this website, there are other websites very similar to how this looks, if not identical, that are trying to steal your funds. So anytime you come to stake Cardano or check your funds, you want to make sure that you are on adalite.io. And as you can see right up here, we are on adalite.io. But once you're on adalite.io, the first thing you're going to do is come up here and click Create New Wallet. And this will present you with a 15 word key phrase. Now the thing with these key phrases is that you want to proceed with caution. You want to make sure that you write them down on a physical piece of paper. You do not want to store them anywhere online only because it's a security issue. If you put these in let's say LastPass or you have one password or something or you copy and you save it on your computer and then your computer gets stolen, any funds that you have in your Cardano wallet assuming you have these in a, in a place where a hacker could find them, your funds can be completely removed from your account and you will never get them back. So in my opinion, the best way to save these words here is to buy a physical book. And the one that I've purchased is called Stone Book and it's a way for you to keep your private keys, your seed phrases, which are these, these are your seed phrases, in a secure location offline and what you do is you simply write down the wallet name and then your different key phrases in the actual notebook and this is in my opinion one of the best ways to keep all of these types of information safe so that if a hacker does break into one of your accounts they have zero access to your money so if you're interested in getting one of your own, I'll put a link down below in the YouTube description if you want to check that out. So once you've written all of these down, you click, I wrote down my mnemonic. So the first thing that we're going to do here is because you just wrote down your mnemonic phrases or your seed phrases, you're going to enter those here in this input field. If you did end up buying one of these devices, you can technically connect that right here you plug your device into your computer and then you click unlock with ledger and then it'll ask you to verify it on your ledger but I've had problems connecting my ledger this way um, so I prefer using this mnemonic phrase so I'm gonna go ahead and you can do the same as well follow along open up adalite.io create your new wallet and get your seed phrases and then type those seed phrases into this field right here and I'm gonna do that right now so after you type in your seed phrases and you click unlock, you'll be presented with a page like this. I'm gonna go ahead and click do not show on startup again, click close. And here you can see, this is my account. So I have 95 ADA or Cardano in my account. And this is the total number of rewards I've received by staking this number of Cardano. Now I chose ADA Lite, but actually there are a couple other wallets you could use to stake Cardano. And if you go to danteachescrypto.com and you go to their Cardano staking pool page, you can scroll down and you have different options of where you want to stake your ADA. In my case, I chose ADA Lite because for me it was the easiest one to figure out. But for you, you could use this Daedalus wallet or your iWallet, whichever one you prefer. The steps should be almost the same. But for me, we're going to stick with ADA Lite. And so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you've, you're seeing this page, 
So now that you have your new wallet created, your balance should say zero. And that's perfect because now I'm gonna show you exactly how to send money into your Ada Lite wallet so that you can start staking it. So let's head up here to the receive tab and I'm gonna go ahead and jump onto my mobile device so that you can see exactly what steps are needed to send it if you're working on a mobile device because I currently don't have my Cardano in a place that I can access it from the desktop. So I have logged into my crypto.com wallet on my phone and that's just easier for me. And then I went ahead and I also went into my Ada Lite wallet on my phone so that I could just copy and paste this wallet address right here a lot easier. Now if you've done any type of transfer of different cryptocurrencies from one wallet to another, you'll notice that there is a send address. As you can see here, there is a way to, you'll send to a specific address here, or if you're going to receive money, this is the address that you will receive. So we're on my mobile device and I've logged into my Adalite wallet and I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click receive. And scrolling down, you can see that this address right here, ADDR1 is how it starts, and it ends with WGRF3, how it ends. You can see this very top address is the exact same as this one, so you know that you're logged into the right account. So once you have this address copied, you're gonna head over to wherever you have your Cardano purchased. For me, I'm using crypto.com, and so I'm gonna head down here to my accounts tab, I'm gonna click on the Cardano, and then I'm gonna come up here and click the transfer button. And then I'm gonna click withdraw, and then I'm gonna click external wallet. Now, as you can see, I currently have this exact same address because I used that in order to transfer this initial funds over here to my Adalite wallet. But for you, you're gonna copy this address, whatever's easiest for you, copy this address, and then in the place where you have your Cardano, you're going to add that to this address to the wallet that you're going to send your Cardano to. So if you're using the crypto.com app, you're going to come up here after you click on external wallet from the transfer button. You're going to click this plus icon at the top and then you're going to click wallet address. And this is where you will paste in the wallet address that you copied from your Ada Lite receive wallet address. You'll give it a name like Ada Light, and once you're done you'll click continue. But for me I already have this added to my account right here and I'm gonna go ahead and click withdraw Ada. Now with crypto.com you have to withdraw a minimum of 100 Ada. So for me I've typed in 100 Ada which is $150 and then I'm going to click withdraw and it's gonna make sure that it, okay, everything looks good. There's a fee of two, two ADA, which is about $3. So in order for me to make this video, I'm spending $3 just to show you how to stake ADA. Prices and fees are volatile and they go up and down, but if you really do wanna stake ADA, this is the best method I have found to do that. So once you have all this information correct and you've double checked it, you're gonna click confirm. And there you go, your ADA withdrawal request has been submitted. So you can see my balance went down to 2400. And if we come back here to my account, it will take a little bit of time for this money to appear. But once it does, I will come back to this video and I'll show you exactly what to do next. So it's been about 30 minutes since I transferred my money or my Cardano from my crypto.com wallet into my ADA Lite wallet and my balance has gone up about 100 ADA, and now we are ready to start staking. So for me, since I am currently already staking funds, anytime I send money into my account here, it will automatically start staking that money, and I don't have to do a thing. But for your very first time, if you're not collecting rewards yet, you're gonna head up to the staking tab, and you're going to click this down arrow under the delegate stake se section, and then right here, you're presented with this default Ada Lite stake pool ID. We are going to replace that with the one that I am using, which is the Digital Asset News 2. 
So we will copy that and I'll put the text down below in the YouTube description. All you do is you copy that ID and you paste it right into here like that. And it will pull up all the information re related to the stake pool ID. You can see it's Digital Asset News 2. Here's the stake pool ID. Here's the ticker, the tax, the fixed cost. I don't quite understand what all of this stuff down here means, but I do know that I am earning a rewards balance every couple of weeks. And because of that, this is what I'm teaching you. So now that you have this pasted in here, you're going to come down here and click delegate. And once that's done, you will see your next reward date will appear under here under your reward account balance. And that's really all there is to it. That is how you stake Cardano. Now, I wanted to point out that if you were to do this today, you start staking some Cardano, and then in a couple of weeks, you're like, you know what, I'm going to stake some more Cardano. You don't have to go through the same process of pasting in the stake pool ID here. What you'll do is you'll copy this, you'll send your money to this address, and then that money will automatically start getting staked without you having to go through the process of delegating that money again. And you can see that down here, my staking balance is 194 Cardano, whereas earlier today it was around 95 Cardano. But because I added that extra 100 Cardano, it automatically starts staking that money without requiring you to do anything else. And you can do that, you can learn more about that by hovering over this question mark. Staking balance represents the funds that are on your staking addresses. Once you delegate to a pool, all these funds are staked. Staking delegation doesn't lock the funds and they are free to move. Now what they're saying with that is, if you think about it like a traditional bank account or a CD, certificate of deposit, if you put your money in, you have to leave your money in for a certain amount of time before you can withdraw it and take it out and earn those rewards. But with this stake pool, once you put your funds in, you are free to remove them at any time because the funds are not locked for a certain duration. And you can do that by scrolling down here and clicking deregister stake key. And that will deregister this stake that you've got here. You will get to keep all of your rewards and then if you want to end up selling your Cardano, you can then go and click on this send and you will put in the receiving address. So let's say you want to send your money from Adalite wallet into your crypto.com wallet. You would put in the receiving address from your crypto.com wallet here. And then you'd enter the amount and you'd click send. So Hopefully that's, this video has been pretty helpful in giving you an idea of how to start staking Cardano. No, you can't use Coinbase or Gemini or BlockFi or any of those other wallets or exchanges. You have to go through a different route to do that. But this should have given you a pretty clear understanding of how to actually stake Cardano. And once you start staking, the rewards will just come in automatically. You don't have to do anything. And then if you're ready to start selling your Cardano and start earning even more money because Cardano decided to go up in price and it's more popular and everything, you click deregister stake key and then you can send that money wherever you want and then convert it to fiat or USD or whatever type of currency that you want to convert it to. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys in the next video.